April 30th, 2020. I think there's some good information right here, man. People slang. UK immunity passport proposals leverage biometric facial recognition. That's the headline with Pizza Slang. If you're trying to be in the game, you're a Pizza Slang. Hey, hey. Okay, I'm finna get it right for you, baby. Okay. The UK has published the initial round of proposals from biometrics and digital ID providers for its planned immunity passport to trace COVID-19 infections. Business Insider reports, government officials have held talks with a number of identity verification startups, according to the report about different schemes, with many involving facial recognition in combination with official documents, QR codes, and test results. The credential, the credential will be used to confirm the individual's health status to grant entrance to private property such as a business. The UK Health Service Innovation Agency, NHSX, called for businesses and technology experts to submit their ideas for providing immunity passports. Companies Making proposal includes on Fido, Yalti, ID Now, OCL, and Identify. A diagram for on Fido's proposal shared by Business Insider shows digital identity from on Fido feeding the immunity passport with a check of me or the real self, presumably with biometrics being transmitted to both the company to create the digital identity and NHS to generate the immunity certificate, which the passport links with the digital ID. The WHO and NHS officials have warned that the concept of immunity credentials relies on accurate testing, but the accuracy of immunity tests is so far questionable. Business Insider points out that the UK government has yet to commit formally to authorizing immunity passports and may wait for more data on whether or not people can be infected again after recovering from COVID-19. The science is a considerable way from being able to underpin something like that, said NHSX CEO Matthew Gold in an appearance before the Government Science and Technology Committee. We've been approached by any number of people offering us solutions in this space, and we are looking at what's available. I wouldn't want the tech cart to come before the horse, he added. ID2020 Executive Director explores some of the risks and challenges related to the immunity passport or certificates in a recent report calling for biometrics to be used to address privacy concerns. Implementing concepts is said to be fraught with devilish details, though NHS has already expanded its use of biometrics-backed digital ID to cope with the crisis.